In today's session, we're going to be talking about SQL injection attacks. Exactly what is this, right? So first of all, SQL stands for Structured Query Language, right? So let's look at our scenario here. So we have our SQL database server on the right-hand side, and we have our attacker on the left-hand side, right? So essentially what we're trying to do here is the attacker is essentially injecting code into the SQL database, right? So we're just going to put that there, okay? And if you if you think about this, really, what we're really doing is we're using SQL commands, right? So we're manipulating those SQL commands to take advantage of any weaknesses, vulnerabilities, and kind of exploiting that on the SQL database by means of actually either making illegal changes to the database, deleting items in the database, uh, reading information like exposure to the database, trying to get more information, and ultimately, even possibly, bring down the database. But our activities are malicious in nature, and these SQL commands that we can inject, right, we're trying to manipulate something, right? And in, in many cases, when we look at the architectural design of this, right, typically we'll see the SQL database server, but we also could actually have a situation whereby the actual SQL database sits on the back end and we have some kind of web application or something that is in, in the front and interacting with the database server on the back end side. But all in, to all extents and purposes, what you're really doing is whether it's the web server up in front or it's in the back end, you're actually injecting the SQL commands, right? So uh, that's to keep in mind, right? Now, when we look at an SQL injection path, many times it's considered an attack vector right and the reason why I actually say that is because it is a path of getting into the database system right so you use the SQL uh, uh, commands the, the injection code to actually get yourself into the SQL database and then once you're in you can either do that uh, reading of the more information of the database or deleting entries or uh, bringing out the survey you can do more after that Right. So and that's essentially what an SQL injection is. Right. So the question now is, is how do we prevent SQL injection? Right. So one of the key things that we can do is focus on this connection here. Right. So this connection that's coming in to make the SQL uh, commands or inserting SQL command, give it some low privileges. Right. The ability not to do anything more detrimental to the system, right? So limit the low privileges of that, you know, bring it down, narrow it down, least privileges, focus on the permissions and all that stuff, right? And also, you know, in the event that injection of code has been inserted by that attacker, the other alternative here is, is to have defense in depth, right? To have other mechanisms in place, right? So if, for example, what we could have is we could essentially have another database system where some of that database, the more confidential database, is further in the back end of the system. Uh, it's, it's more like a back end kind of like uh, an area, right? So that is one element. Also, what you could do is you could also have encryption, right? So you can have TDE. Um, and, and, and those kind of things, right? So again, you know, like the options here is low, lower that privilege and at the same time have defense in depth. Thank you.